lot of times people throw pasta. I don't I think that's an Italian American thing. But I have some on the wall over there that right? I threw the other day. No, it's not ready yet. <laughs> Hey, my name is Chef Michael White, and I'm in the kitchens here in Munchies in Brooklyn, and today I'm gonna to make carbonara. I'm gonna do a very, very simple carbonara, a little bit of pecorino, parmigiano, guanciale, and eggs. And carbonara is one of my favorite things. There's always bacon in the fridge, or there's always a hunk of cheese. This is a pasta that you can do anytime, and it's so satisfying, because it's like you're having bacon and eggs already at the diner, and it's not even open. So you can have this, then go to sleep. And then you can wake up at 11 o'clock, and then you can go to brunch if you really want to. And this is a quick recipe. You can start the water, and you can kind of start your mise en place or all the ingredients at one time. The misnomer with, with carbonara is it's always with smoky bacon. So when you go into a restaurant, you're smelling this bacon and onions. This version, we're gonna do it with guanciale. I season the water for carbonara a little bit less if I'm at home because of the salt inside the pancetta or, or the guanciale. You don't even have to put oil uh, into this pan. This pan is on medium. It's a large open skillet. And all of a sudden, the, the guanciale starts to become translucent. So I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit because I don't want it to burn. You know, next time I come here, I hope Vice has uh, real burners. <laughs> I know this is crazy, but it's kind of lean. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil in here to kind of help the process a little bit. So when we have this nice and translucent, we're gonna have a little bit of residual oil and then we're gonna remove this, and I'm gonna use it on top of the dish. It's really up to what you like. If you do like the smoky flavor and, and, and perfume of bacon, by all means, use bacon. The difference between pancetta, guanciale, and bacon, guanciale is un, uh, unsmoked, it's cured pork jollof. Uh, pancetta is from the belly, and, and as well as, uh, as bacon. You can start to see this getting very, very uh, translucent, and we're doing the, the render right now. Now this is the first step in our carbonara. So now I'm gonna separate the eggs. And eggs, this is a little bit of a trick that um, sometimes people will go ahead and put straight away the egg with its uh, uh, egg white and the yolk together, the whole eggs. And what happens is, is that if you're not vigorously moving that, uh, you can start to get uh, scrambled eggs. And, and what I'd like to do is I like to incorporate uh, the cheese, the eggs, and a, and a little bit of water that helps it whisk together. So I'm gonna do two whole eggs, and then I'm gonna use three yolks. When I'm doing a pound of pasta, uh, three egg yolks and two eggs is the perfect quantity to do it. You can also add the addition of cream, but that's a real faux pas, because that really means that you can't uh, judge the time and, and temperature and, and, and bringing the pasta together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of pecorino cheese. And I like to use both uh, pecorino and parmigiano, uh, because pecorino maybe is a, a tad too salty, but I get a little bit of sweetness from the Parmigiano. It's a really good balance. You get a good picture of that tat right there? Yeah. Are you and going full coverage? Oh, I got it pretty full, yeah. Yeah. Pretty full all the way up. Yeah. You just got that on fucking camera right now. You can see how this is a little bit thick right here. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Kind of like when you're making an omelet and you add a, a couple drops of water. I mean, at the Vice Studios, I'm using mineral water here. So, <laughs> so I'm going to season the water right now. Okay. And again, I don't want to over-season, and I lay the pasta in. When we talk about al dente pasta, everybody's idea of al dente is different. Al dente meaning to the tooth. So this spaghetti is a seven-minute spaghetti. So I'm going to cook this for about five minutes. After you place the spaghetti, you do not want to stir the spaghetti right away. Uh, a lot of times people start to vigorously stir the spaghetti, and what you do is you break the pasta because it is not uh, cooked enough and, and it snaps. So that's something uh, that you don't want to do right away. So leave it alone. Now spaghetti is a traditional pasta to do with carbonara, but if you had fettuccine or you had penne, penne pasta, the quill pasta, really coats well with the egg and, and it's probably even a better pasta. Any dry pasta is really fantastic with carbonara. Um, it would just be that much more rich if you use an egg pasta with uh, an egg sauce with bacon. Now this is when it goes very quickly. The pasta is almost ready. We're gonna go into the pan. You have to have all your mise en place or all your ingredients ready to go. We have uh, cheese, eggs, a little bit of water. We're gonna start twisting in a little bit of black pepper. And I will twist a little bit more on top, but you definitely wanna use fresh cracked black pepper. And you can always add more if one, one so desires. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of water to start with, okay? 
Now you want to be careful, but this is on low, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Now you can use a colander, but here again, I'm making believe that it's three o'clock in the morning right now, okay? You never want to rinse your pasta, and taking it out like this and adding it to the pan is really how we would do it in the restaurant. So now you can hear this is on, this is very light, but you can see the pasta is not completely cooked, but it's almost very al dente still. I have a little bit of residual liquid. This is the point where you can really screw this up, okay? So you can hear, hear a, little, a little bit of the cooking. We're gonna go right over the top, okay? And you wanna vigorously move the pasta the minute you go inside. So here we go, we're gonna go inside. And now it's not going to cook that fast, but the minute I apply heat to it again is when you have to move it quickly. So now I'm gonna move back to the stove right now, okay? Okay, and now all of a sudden, you can start to see it getting thick all of a sudden. Now those white things you see in here is the pecorino that's starting to melt. So you can see that right now, that the pasta is loose and it's moving nicely, and it's not stuck together, it's not overly heated, and I have a nice creamy sauce, okay? We also have the addition back in of the guanciale, and I'm just gonna give it a nice toss like this. I'm gonna go a little bit more pecorino and parmigiano. Again, the heat is on low right now. Now the green can cannot be substituted here, okay? It will not taste anything like it, all right? So make sure you really do have pecorino parmigiano. And now at this point, if you kept it on any stove any longer, you'd have issues, okay? So now we're gonna take it off the stove. Fixing carbonara is quasi impossible uh, if you're not using cream or the light to make a liaison. So it's going to cook if you leave the pan on the stove. And we're gonna go to the plate. And just for good measure, just a little bit more. That's it. So now here is the mobile. We're gonna check and see if it's al dente, number one. I think it is low. Al dente. You know him, Al Dente, you know him. My name is Chef Michael White. Thanks very much for watching this Carbonara 101. If you like the recipe or would like to make this, just click the link below. Thanks very much from the Munchies Kitchen.